This is the Death Rock. It's where the indigenous people would take their elders to see out their final days. Flinders Ranges stopped off. I might just add, Flinders Ranges has the bluest of bluest skies. I've never seen sky so blue. Um, so yeah, we left there this morning, made our way down to Port Augusta for lunch. Got here about 11:30. It's 35 degrees. So we're just walking along the boardwalk down here on the water's edge, and we'll uh, do a few little things down here. Take some photos and move on to our next destination, which I think will stay along the water's edge to hit a beach tonight. Port Broughton, Port Port. We are in Port Broughton. Um, we're staying at the Broughton Bay RV Park. Um, it's there's no shower, no toilet. You've got to be self-contained. Um, they do ask for a ten dollar donation, and it's a good idea to keep these parks going. Um, ten dollars. You want to see what this place has got? It's camp kitchen, barbecue, everything like that. Dog run. Just so, yeah, the ten dollars goes towards uh, further maintenance and upkeep and further uh, future renovations. But it's a great little place uh, if you're just stopping through for the night or two. Port Broughton itself, um, awesome pub, one of the best pubs I've seen in a long time. And um, went for a fish last night on the pier. Thought we'll take the kids for a fish, go squidding. Got out there and thought, what's going on? There's no locals out here. We soon found out why there's no locals out there. We got absolutely smashed by mosquitoes. Absolutely smashed. I looked down at my arm at one stage, I had 20, 30 mosquitoes in my arms, and I never, ever, ever get tagged by mosquitoes. Never. So, don't go fishing here at night. As soon as the sun dropped, it was gone. The mosquitoes were on. So, yeah, Port Broughton. It's not a bad, it's a fishing, little fishing town. bit of beach driving in the MUX. God help us. Panic. Yep. Panic <laughs> in the back. Until we get the patrol. Sorry, <laughs> when we've got the patrol. Yeah, see, it's just that bit. Yeah, welcome to Burke Street.
We were woken between three and four in the morning, telling us to move our car, banging on the door. Did that, and then the second time we had to do it shortly after. By this time, the mat was underwater, and the, next, and the water was up against our van wheels. We turned the mat into a sandbank to keep the water off. The tide was being pushed in to all the vans with the wind. So the next time you're beach camping, just be mindful where you park your van because some of the guys had to get pulled out of the water because they were too close. All right, I haven't uh, done one of these for a couple of days. Um, we left Port Broughton, headed down to Wuralty, I think it's pronounced, Wuralty Beach. Um, you can drive onto the beach and camp on the beach for free, or you can camp up in the dunes for about 20 bucks. Uh, we opted for the beach option. Um, we air down, some people don't air down, they, beach is pretty firm it's a little soft on the steep entry going in um, yesterday was just perfect absolutely perfect 36 37 degrees the water was flat everyone was snorkeling swimming fishing it was just it was a hot day but we were on the beach camped on the beach absolutely sensational we got woken up this morning at about I don't know what time it was 2 2 30 the neighbor banging on our door about the tide coming in um, the wind had pushed the tide in further than what anyone expected so everyone was out at the early wee hours and we were all trying to build little sandbags trying to keep the water off our tires and get the cars back off the beach and i think a couple of guys missed that and uh, we had to get max tracks and get them out um, so we stuck that out for the morning trying to keep the water away and then once that had happened once it cleared and the tide had gone out it was about I don't know 10 30 11 o'clock um, the beach was back to heart so we made our way out aired up I didn't have enough um, air hose at this stage to get to air up my van I aired up the car all right but to air up the van I just drove 10 minutes into the next town went to the tire place because the servos one was broken went to the tire place brendan there at the auto tire center and i think we we're in minleton uh, hooked us up and he came out and pumped my caravan tires back up so thanks brendan for doing that give us a few little tips on the way about what to do and what not to do around the beaches here um so we're gonna stay here at the caravan park we're cleaning everything we're going through everything washing the whole works everything's just sand washed up sand everything so and then we'll just do probably day trips around the York Peninsula for a few days and then we'll start heading back and get some stuff organized for the car I just want to touch on all the people on the beach they were unreal everyone was helping everyone out everyone was like tapping on doors if you're asleep and you weren't aware they'd get you up mate move your car the water's coming up we'll help you do this we'll help you do that i've found since we've been here in south australia everywhere we go the people are just unreal absolutely unreal shops every street every walk every shop you go into everyone is just super friendly just it's just awesome awesome to see it's awesome to get when you're traveling through so well done south australia